Hey, hello guys. Mm, today I come up with a small topic in service which is JSON attribute and service. Here, if you see in this image, you are seeing some string name field that in that you are seeing some employees name and their email address, etc. If you want to see this employee data, I mean uh, the JSON data which is in string field in a structured format, what we'll do normally we'll copy this total string and we'll go to some external JSON formatter and we'll format that. But now in our service, now we have a direct option to view the JSON format in a structured way that is called JSON attribute. That is a simple small attribute that we need to add so it will work as as we seen in the JSON formatted way. So let's see how to do that. Okay. The first thing if you go into this uh, I have just created a custom table. <laughs> this small thing I did for Corona server. So if you see here, this is a string field. In the string field, we have JSON group data. So here, if you want to find some email edit from here, we need to copy it and we need to use some external formatter or something called JSON formatter or something. JSON formatter online and we need to copy and paste this data and we need to go inside and we need to check and we need to process. This is a very long process to find to get the data in a structured way. So instead of this, here we have this option. If you click on this, a new window will open with the data in a structured way. Let's see how it comes. See, which we got the data in a structured way. Why this concept is very useful in a service? So you know in the service now now we are doing integration with many things and we are getting data and we'll get a very large amount of data in the JSON format. So this format from the format you need to find some variable or something or else you want to uh, there is some issue in this JSON data so you want to find that error code or something so you can just click on this icon and you can see this so now we'll see how to build this kind of field with this attribute it's just a simple thing it's a two means work that we need to do. Uh, for now I'm just if you see here. So now I'm just removing this field and I create a new field and I'll show how to how to make this account visible and how to view it in a structured way. So initially I'm removing this field from here. This one I kept in a new section actually. So it's coming this way. So I'm doing this field from here and now I'm going to configure a new field and I'll add the attribute and we'll see how to make this out. So yeah I'll just go for form designer and I'll create a new field here. The field type should be string here in this case. Yep, we got this. So now from here, I'm just selecting a string field, string type dictionary, and dragging a drop it here. And let's give some name JSON test string. Test string. It and save this so okay this is saved now we'll just look into this record. now we are able to see this json touch field right? this is a normal string field and now i have some dummy data here i have some dummy json data i'm just thinking of placing it here oh we need to update the size so here max one that i can find Let's make it something above and then just close it. Done the saving. So now you can see it as a big one. Mm -hmm. 
so I have a very damage. Yeah. Now I'm taking this content, pasting here. Let us assume you have integrated with some other external client, and from there you are getting a huge CMDT data, and you are just storing in some field because of some case. But here you need to see the some particular uh, CI name or something. But you have no, you don't have any option. You need to copy, and we need to go for some JSON format and we'll see. Now, in a few steps, how we can do this? I'll let you know. Just right click on it. Right click on this field. Configure dictionary. Let's go down. I'm going to attributes. And I'm clicking on new. And it's a simple thing. Just type JSON. You'll get a JSON attribute of JSON view. And enable it by adding it as two. That's it over. Now you can see that icon. Now let's open this record. See, you are able to see this one, right? So if you click on this, you will get this data in a structure way. This is this one simple action. So in service node itself, we have this option. This will be very useful for the integration developers to check their things, what is the value, etc. etc. So yeah, this is my concept today. I would like to explain. If you have any questions, you can just comment me or you can just email me. My email ID is Ravi Tejas 0601 at Thank you. Happy coding. Bye, guys.